when a person shows interest, turn their direction and look. Mm. See whether they deserve any attention after mm. all. You may find that it's not even in your league. Some are just persistent and daring. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know? Mm. They just say, what do I start to lose? Mm. <laughs> Let me, hey, you girl, I like you. <laughs> no, don't bother me. Tomorrow, I like you, but I have been telling you I like you. This is the idea. Then you wear down because of persistence, not because he qualifies. Mm. When somebody breaks your spirit, they break your will to live, to try again, to date again. They, you lose the orientation of where you belong in this world mm. and whether you're worthy or lovable. That is deeper than disappointment. It's a destruction of your identity. Some people will lead you on until you fall in love. Mm. Yep. They'll lead you on. Yeah. Until you fall in love. <laughs> Let me just kick at someone and, and remember. Pro and <laughs> profess it. Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Over 25. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. As you can see today, Shiko has been replaced. Um, we have a very, very special guest in studio. This is none other than Benjamin Zulu. Um, he's a counseling psychologist. His background is in law. Um, and you're also a life coach. Yep. Karibu sana kwenye set ya Over 25. My name is Jules. <laughs> This is just Ivy Africa, and that is Lonzi. Shiko is away because she is unwell. She had been unwell, but I think today, yesterday is when she said it got a bit worse. Mm. So please, in the comment section, leave a love heart for Shiko. Just give her some love so she doesn't feel like she's... This is a conversation she'd have loved to be a part yes. of. Mm -hmm. So we recently asked um, our followers on our Instagram page to send us questions that they may have for Benjamin Zulu, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and... Most of the questions that they send are around love and relationships because I think that's what you're most known for in this yep. country. Yep. I didn't even know until we knew you were coming here that you do life coaching services. Yes. Yes, so it, it, it explains a lot why you are the way you are and why you speak the way you are. We also have our own questions, which we'll post to Benjamin. Um, but I think this is one of the greatest collaborations ever. <laughs> very, very excited. Yes. What is, I think, for Almost a year. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for coming. I'm actually very starstruck. Yeah. <laughs> we are not trained psychologists, nor are we lawyers or life coaches, but we talk about love and relationships a lot. But now we were coming, here we are talking with the coach himself. Mm -hmm. So Benjamin has not, by the way, do you have anything to say? Maybe you want to say something small to say, Karibu, you're happy to be here. You're so excited and you love us so much. I'm happy to be here. I love you guys so much. Over 25 and under 25 together. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. You're being groomed to reach the over 25 safely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To cross the bridge, to, to cross, cross the bridge to adulthood because the most disastrous mistakes are done under 25. Yeah, yes. we, we know. When girls are marrying at 21, 22, cohabiting at 20 and 19, they'll regret it later. Mm. So these girls, I was happy that they picked the most sensitive, the most not spoken of and yet very critical mm -hmm. crossing point. So I'm glad you guys, I was start attracted by that because I've written books about pre-25s, mm. <laughs> you know, I've spoken that that is a space I'm passionate about because I, I realized it's, a, it's an age of innocence. Mm. I had called it off air that under 25s are very strong emotions and very weak reasoning mm -hmm. because the, the <laughs> brain that they should use to reason long term has not much mm. And those who argue, oh, it doesn't matter. I ask them when you go to children development and children clinic and even from pregnancy and all that. Mm -hmm. There are stages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> During this stage, this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. During this stage, this, human development is sequential. Mm -hmm. If you deny the seasons of life, mm -hmm. you will pay the price. So you guys are teaching them that the last organ that is developing in your biological development, not even argumentative, mm -hmm. it's your brain, mm -hmm. frontal brain, mm -hmm. and is finishing at 25. Before 25, a part of you is unconscious, a part of you is out of touch with reality, a part of you is very too trusting and naive and mm -hmm. just, you know, think projecting your goodness mm -hmm. to the world mm -hmm. and making decisions based on yourself. Mm -hmm. Only to realize all is so cruel when they have incurred you unrecoverable. Damages will never recover. Mm -hmm. They only become part of you. 
during my days of innocence. So we are here to save you the, the mistakes of innocence. I love it. Yes. <laughs> and I think actually that's why our audience, um, the younger audience, yeah. why they come to us a lot is because we speak very retrospectively mm -hmm. and we're always like, I, this, during our days of such and such, yeah. this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had, I don't mean to be conceited, but I wish I had me when I was 21. Mm. Yeah. I wish I had somebody like me to talk yeah. to, you know? I wish I had over 25. I wish I had over 25. When I was in my 20s. I wish we had Benjamin Zulu, like yeah. this kind of thought leaders or yeah. people who can, um, that teach you things that no, no school can teach you. Mm. You know, they say, I but now, please just save us. I want to be saved from the trauma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to go straight into the questions. Mm -hmm. um, our beloved Jogo is in the background today, guys. Hey. So just bear with us. We yes, we are back in <laughs> Jogo set land. number one. <laughs> um, I decided to start with one that might be a bit controversial, mm. but I think you are not shy to speak your mind on certain things. Mm. Um, and I also want to welcome opposing opinions on this particular set even in the comment section, mm. but we must do it respectfully, mm. okay? Question number one, sir. Mm. What are your thoughts on polyamory um, and consensual non-monogamy in modern love? Whenever you hear poly anything, it's a cover-up. Mm. Whenever you hear, let's even start with polygamy because it's more known. Mm -hmm. Multiple partners consensually. Mm -hmm. In polygamy, the man had exclusive. The women are here for him alone. Mm. And Th that time it was perpetuated by society to keep women at the objectified level. That all of you are for this man. And it was community sponsored. They would even carry you and take you there. Mm. And they took you to a man with the capability to take care of your children. He makes you bath children and then helps you take care of the children. Without him, you never have needed the children. So never needed him. Mm. So you have to get children to need him and be kept somewhere. And we're not allowed to work. So that time, polygamy was an instrument to keep women suppressed and usable. And any society that perpetuated polygamy and suppression of women itself remained behind. Even today, that is a pattern. You don't need to check too much. Societies that have allowed women to invent, the woman invented um, radioactivity. And that's what we have used today to generate power, to do a lot of weaponry and all those things. It's a woman. If she had been kept at home, that development would not have happened that time. It, it's, it's the U.S., it's wherever you find that a woman has been released, the society, all of it, because God had made for us to go together. Mm. But when you fight the one, you, you are divided. This polyamory of we are open, it's you go and go, there's no true love. It is entanglements of convenience. It's for social name to appear like I have a woman, mm. and for her to appear like she has a man. Mm. And maybe it's already we have a child and we don't want to part ways, or we are used to this pattern of life. So there's no love really. It's an arrangement of convenience to cover something else you would rather not face. Can't face existence alone. Mm. You need my support. I need your support in some way. And let me tell you, never stay in a marriage that is not working or relationship because of children, because the children will suffer and be scarred and they will need therapy for years to recover from what you expose them to. Mm. We usually use the children as an excuse when you know it's not working instead of facing the fear mm. of going out there and venturing on your own. We don't want to see the end. Goodbyes are painful even what we, what, when what we are saying goodbye to is painful. Ask men and they will tell you, they know circumcision is necessary to cut off what is uh, potentially harmful to you, but it still hurts. You are cutting off what is toxic, but it still hurts. Mm. That's how toxic relationships are. Even saying goodbye to what you don't need, it still hurts. Mm. So if you ask me, I'll say this open relationship, so to speak, there's no longer any love because love is territorial, exclusive, possessive, and it's supposed to be me mm. and you alone, my queen, my king. Mm. Without that, there is no love. It's just any other thing we are using. And don't be confused by the word marriage. People use the word marriage is to, to cover anything. Mm. <laughs> not love, not companionship, mm. not... Many of them will just use that word to, to sanitize mm. a dysfunctional union. So there's no love in polyamory or open relationship or multiple. Uh, there's no love. That love of building you, building me, trusting me with your feelings, trusting me with your heart. The heart and our psychology and our feelings, the way they are made, they're mm. supposed to be exclusive, me alone. You don't think that's taught? Like a monogamy is taught? What they would say is a social construct? It's psychological, it's created. You don't need to hear anybody to know that I want you alone for myself. Okay. You don't need to be taught by anybody. It's not a construct, it's the way you're created. Mm. That's how we are made. Mm. I've, I'm yet to see anybody who is functional in other areas of life, being comfortable sharing who they love with mm -hmm. anybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to meet anybody. 
Yeah. I mean, for me, I would say I'm monogamous. But because I've been reading a lot and watching a lot of stuff around polyamory, um, especially with the younger generation, the, 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 the younger millennials and the Gen Zs, mm. I'm, I don't know if I have the, I've always said, I don't know if I have the emotional capacity to do it because I'm, um, all those things you have said, possessive. Mm. The, territorial. Uh, territorial. Yes. I am Exclusive. that person. Mm. But I marvel at people who are able to do it. And I always question, I'm like, so you don't feel bad when da da da. I'm like, you know, maybe jealousy is something that we've been taught mm. and because we've been exposed to since we were young, mm. princess and the prince and all these things. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Personally, I feel like I, I, I mean, personally, I'm monogamous, but I feel like uh, I'm open minded to he, uh, learning about this other way. There's somebody who said it's okay to be open minded, but don't open the mind until your brains fall out. Eh? Mm -hmm. You should have minimums. Mm -hmm. okay. The generation you are quoting mm -hmm. are not mature for relationships, they're just exploring. Mm -hmm. The Gen Z and whoever, they have not even found themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're just here and there. Mm -hmm. And by the time they reach here, the reason you started this show yourself mm -hmm. is to warn them of some of the madness. <laughs> They have given names to, and they're trying to legitimize madness mm. by giving it a name. Mm. <laughs> and now we are trying to give them credibility. There are some guys who are doing it, perhaps it's a legitimate thing, but they're children. Mm. So let children play and just call it child play. When okay. they grow up, they'll start other shows to warn the juniors. Mm. Um, my question is um, that word love. What if two people come together and maybe love is not enough or they respect each other, mm. they want to grow together, and they, it's an arrangement that it's fine. You be here, you be here. Um, uh, let's have a relationship together, yes, but we can bring in other people. If we're bored in the bedroom, that type of thing. I think, I don't know what I'm trying to articulate. That word love, what if it does, what if it's not just about the love? What if there's two people who can come together, build something together without necessarily the love being the top tier? Right. Mm. We respect each other, we trust each other. We know where we are going, mm. but maybe the there's love is... No, can't use, love? You, can't use, love? Yeah. you can't use trust and respect and still say, bring a bad person. Mm. Please, don't be imaginary. Eh? Mm. Whenever you say trust, mm. I've given you my feelings to protect. Mm. What are you protecting it from? Not highness, mm. not cows. It's Others. other people. Yeah, yeah. When you take the same feelings, same sweetheart, same treatment, same exclusivity, same access, and give to another person. What is there in you to trust? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Julia, my question is: so for polyamory, like, so for example, I'm in such a relationship, and I want to bring in another partner. How does that work? How how do Sorry, I? Say, that's a question to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, just polyamory? since oh. you understand yeah. polyamory um, a bit better than me, so you've decided, okay, me, me and two other people are dating, mm. but I like someone else. Mm to add another one to the poly. Yeah. So how do we agree that we want to add another person? Or is it usually just three people only? No, so from what I know is that you have you have um, polyamorous relationships where each person can have X number of partners that they want. Okay, or okay. if you are three people in one, that's a triad. Mm. So it's like a monogamous triad. Mm. <laughs> three like three of us are not allowed to date, to date other the people. So there are people who are in triads, then okay, there are people okay. who are in polyamory, mm. that kind of stuff. Mm. Now about introducing partners, I don't know because I don't know how mm. the ins and outs of poly let me tell you polyamory the works. Human nature is you cannot distort your manager. The moment you say we are three, mm. that one could be in another trial. That one could be another trial. Mm. It's a whole network. Mm. You can we cannot say, and that's what I was telling some people. We say you are getting married as a second wife, and I'm telling him, how do you know that you stop with you or you go all the way to twentieth? Mm. Some may not be married because nowadays they're just married to sanitize side chick and immorality and cheating, mm. just to give it a legitimacy. Mm. Uh, nowadays women are free to choose their life. It's not community fairing you, yeah. except in marginal community places where sponsors. where liberty is yet to go. Mm. But today, you women who are jo who have jobs, you have choices. Mm -hmm. Nobody is forcing you to marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's one mistake, one lack of discipline, one sleeping here. And they said married men are sweeter because they know how to handle women. When they come here, they know what to fix. They don't need to be told. And they know when you're feeling down, they attend to it. They send money when you don't want it. They attend to you so readily. So because he has been prepared and experienced and built by another woman, you want to latch onto the finished product. I prefer married men mm -hmm. to what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is somebody's finished product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's to say, these names they are giving to this code, they are called polyamory. Let me tell you one simple thing. 
for as long as you're in rebellion against your nature and your creator, the, the basis that God who created you is jealous, he is love and he's jealous. And you too, you're jealous by nature. If you continue fighting with that, you will destroy yourself. And we, we said, you can actually put any, you can put the wrong keys in the lock. It, you, if you force enough, they will go in, but they won't click. There will never be a click when there's more than two people to love. You can try anything because of pathology. You have freedom and you can try. It will always fail. Why? It, is God, it goes against the principles the manufacturer had put in place. You can push for it. You can say, me and me, I'll just leave another woman. Just leave another man. It's okay. You can try it. Mm. Then you can go some distance. Mm. You can force the key. Mm. <laughs> but it will not turn. turn. There won't be a click. Mm. So Benjamin, what are, you, are you trying to say then these people who move towards polyamory or married couples who swing or invite someone extra into the bed, whatever. You need therapy. <laughs> okay. okay. And also, <laughs> I guess before... To, to prevent the thoughts of polyamory or whatever, um, make a very well-informed decision as to who this person is that you want to spend the rest of your life with so that I guess you keep choosing them every day when things are hard or whatever. I'm, I'm just trying to understand the mindset of this person who's decided that they can be polyamorous. Is it that they did not date enough? And I know you're a, you're a, you, 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 you actually encourage women to date, not have a lot of sexual relations mm. with men, but he encourages women to really date widely before mm. they... Okay. So is it that that decision was rushed, is it, or, or what? You see, one lady was telling me we have this, I've been taking care of most of the bills. Yeah. And f uh, for about 12 years, my man never had a stable job. Recently he got a job, but, but I learned a year later mm. that he already has a good job, but he's already taken a huge loan to buy a sporty motorcycle <laughs> that will take him years to pay. Mm. And we have been living apart you know, one town, another one, and cumulatively not more than two years yeah. living together. I said, such a bad arrangement with such a bad person. How did you end up there? Mm. And she married when she was 27. But I knew that cannot be the catch. There is mm. a catch. Mm. How long had you dated him? Six years. So I say, how do you choose a partner when you're 21? Right now you are a parent. Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about your child. Mm. <laughs> choosing, when they're 21, choosing <laughs> life, mm. life partner. Do they know parameters? Mm. So I told her, at 21, you did not know the parameters. Yeah. And then you skipped the compulsory intentional singleness that allows for development of self. Mm. It's compulsory. Mm. It's compulsory. You skip it, you pay for it. Mm. Listen to me right. Young ones. Young ones. <laughs> young ones. I'm feeling like a young one. Young ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling like, hey. the, 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 the burden and incubation of who you are. Your parents gave you birth. You give yourself life. Mm. Your parents gave you birth like a child. We got a child, we have given birth to a child. But as to bring out who you are, that's your work. Mm. And it takes an incubation period. Studies have uh, pinned the number, the, fee, the, the period of time to take you. Quick learners, seven years. The rest of us, ten years. Shut up. Yes. <laughs> ten years of, of being Intensive single. Intensive learning mm. and distracted by emotional entanglements. <laughs> From well. 19. Whatever time, you know, cultures and education systems have, pinned, have, have allowed people freedom at different stages. Mm. But in Africa, I came to find the only time we have mm. is ranging between 18 to 25. Mm. That's when you have the only virgin, quote unquote, mm. seven years, mm. or at least five years that you have gained enough insight to know who you are and the direction you're going, to know who else is going, who can take you there, then to marry and continue growing inside marriage while you have chosen a person having enough insight to know where you're going. Mm. There's too much naivety and blindness and guesswork. This is a solution. And if you realize you have skipped, you are listening to me when you pass those virgin period, because mm -hmm. once you hit that responsibilities of life on you, mm -hmm. you know, your parents are no longer the ones taking care of you. Mm -hmm. You're out here, you have to keep running, to keep paying your bills and earning a living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is the purpose then of that period of intentional singleness? You learn to control yourself not to pursue anybody who attracts you sexually. That's what they're calling polyamory, pursuing any crush, mm. any lust, any excitement. You learn self-control, you learn how to say no to your own feelings, how to delay gratification, how to calculate involvement, how to use your head, not your feelings. You learn how to, how to weigh the costs down, line, down the stream, what that will cost. Mm. 
Mm. There before, when you are 22, baby, daddy just sounds like a thing that was entering this. <laughs> Today, you know, it's a torture. Yes. Today, you know, it's a torment. It's, it's a burden. Torture. Today, you know, it's a cross to bear. Mm. <laughs> it's a permanent entanglement <laughs> with a person. It's something that you regret. It's something you try to cut off. You love the child. You don't like the one you got it with. You don't mm. have a life. You're supposed to collaborate with an enemy, a person who reminds you of something you're embarrassed about. So yes. now you are thinking has come of age and you're saying, I've seen enough. Many of us don't learn intentionally, we learn through experience. Yes, yeah. life experience. School of teaching. hard knocks. You are knocked so many times, <laughs> <laughs> very expensively. Let me spare those who still have the time. Listen to me. I locked down five years myself. That's the, the highest I could afford. I realized also a little bit late in the day. Yeah. I could only afford five years. Mm -hmm. I was already around 26, mm -hmm. and I knew I'd be dating. Men, I always recommend date when you're 30. Mm -hmm. Anything you do before then, my friend, mm -hmm. blind guesswork. 50-50, mm -hmm. you may cross. 50-50, you may sink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like crossing the baton on a rope. Mm -hmm. Some guys may have done it. I know somebody who married at 19, and today they're happily married. 50-50, you may cross. 50-50, <laughs> <laughs> you may be so lower. Yeah. So, so I was telling you this. What people argue, what is this love? Because they have not stayed in the school of life enough to know a definition of terms. All right? Mm -hmm. So the definition of terms mm -hmm. of love, love is made of very few components. You, you should demystify it because singers and dramatists and people are using it all over here, all over mm -hmm. here. Somebody has known you two days and they say, I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love comes from respect and the trust. Mm -hmm. Respect is when I've known you enough to win my admiration, mm -hmm. to command mm -hmm. a response of, of honor. Oh my God, I respect that. Mm -hmm. Level of achievement, character, how much you've worked on yourself, how much you've achieved, you respect. And men, that's the to go. Men don't use the word love. We use it because women need it. Mm. But in, if, if there were no women in the world, we never tell each other, bro, I love you. We say, bro, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I'm yes. like, so <laughs> profound. That is so profound. <laughs> just say, respect. Respect, mm. yeah. And does not mean we don't love. I'm just saying the language we use. Yeah. In the minds of men, Jesus never told men, Nakufil, follow me. No, mm. he said, follow me. Mm. And they follow. So men know loyalty, respect, value. And men are more loyal over long term. Mm. After he, he went, they died all of them, staying true. <laughs> you know, one and died of betrayal before he died. Mm. But when our Lord left, they stayed true and none of them died a natural death. And they did not use the word. I love him so much, I followed him. <laughs> yeah. Respect him enough. Mm -hmm. So it's to say, respect comes from knowing you enough. So nobody can say, I love you, and they have not known you enough mm -hmm. to weigh you. Men value. Value comes from a calculation. They calculate how much you deserve, mm -hmm. how much honor you deserve. Mm -hmm. So after you win, they're always sticking out this, and then they add up together. So anybody who throws out love soon, they're throwing it as a bait to get something from you. It's a language they're using because it, to hypnotize you, because perhaps you are too hungry for anything that resembles love. <laughs> you can't even examine what this is. Every market has corn men <laughs> in the land market, <laughs> in the car market. In the love market? <laughs> <laughs> You know, they always Where? pretend like they have what you what you want to get to what you're carrying. Yeah. <laughs> they always want, and that's why there's a guideline: due diligence. Mm. Always do this before you pay. Get lockbook, cross check, mm. legit, green card. <laughs> you, mm. We always check history mm. to check whether you really have the right to sell this. Yeah. But when you come to people, don't mind the past. Nobody is perfect. <laughs> when you go to land, you are very keen mm. to check the past. Mm. <laughs> when you're buying land, even the house, you're checking the small crack. <laughs> you're very keen. Because, you know, small cracks could be underneath huge problems. Yeah. So it's to say, you don't debate love because you are made for it. And love is exclusive and possessive. Possessive does not mean you're insecure, you are tying me down. When it is healthy love, I can trust you. So it is balanced by trust. I believe you to do right, even, even when I'm, my, my back is turned. Mm. I believe you to defend what we have. Mm. Does not mean now I'm a fool or not pick red flags. Mm. You must also depend on the natural laws that if you are sincere, and you're doing right on your side. If the other person has foul play and you are careful, you'll be shown signs. Mm. There's something in you women, a very strong called intuition that you also can't explain. It just gives you a disturbance mm. <laughs> that something is wrong mm. and you have no evidence. Mm. But if you don't blurt it out, I'm feeling like you're doing something mischievous. Mm. <laughs> if you don't blurt it out, you're wise to just look closer. Intuition brings you to look, just look. It may not be a red flag, just be an invitation to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you guys are so sensitive, you sense it where the moment we form the intention. Mm -hmm. Even before we execute. Mm -hmm. I tell you I'm going to garage, and you feel something about the garage story. Mm -hmm. 
Normally I go to garage, but you just felt uncomfortable about the garage mm. thing. Only for you to realize when I turned the corner, I picked a girl that we went. I, I, you just didn't know why you're uncomfortable. Mm. And you just decided, what can I do? I know, I know the, the garage is going. So you call that boy, hey, I'm looking for so and so, is he? Oh, no, he has not come here. <laughs> so you need, he's given the phone. Why can't you call? Oh, it's not going through, is it network? You can always cook a story. Mm. <laughs> you wanted to verify with cover up mm. stories. Mm. So it's to say, love for us was meant for me to be exclusively yours and you exclusively mine. And let me tell you the truth. When you marry, when you're doing love right, you're playing an illustration of what shall happen in the days to come. God invented this marriage to show what he's planning to do with us. Mm. But you, the lady, are the picture of the church. I, the man, am the picture of Christ. That's why I'm supposed to love you as Christ loved the church and died for it. I'm supposed to kill my selfishness, subdue, suppress things in me that are hostile to you. I'm supposed to, sub, to put you first and put myself last in terms of making myself more lovable to you and safe for you. And you, you submit to that because once you see that I'm putting you first, I'm making you better, the submission comes naturally. Submission just cooperation really. Just yield to my leadership. Yes. All oh, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> We've never no. even been so quiet. We've well, never been so quiet and <laughs> over 25 minutes. <laughs> we are the noisiest. Benjamin <laughs> has spoken and we are just like, to Mashiko na Botswa. When? Okay. Let me go to the next question. Ooh. When, if at all, is cheating in marriage forgivable? Can you come out of it stronger? Infidelity. Yes, you can. There's a lady called, called Janice who has written a book called After the Affair. Mm. And she has said enumerated things. What changes when you are cheated on? Mm. There is trauma of losing your sense of importance and specialness to this person. Is that a local author, sorry? Yes. Okay. okay. You, the, you, you lose your sense of justice and truth in the world because you are kicked in the face mm. when you are doing the right thing. You feel like you are slapped when you are following the rules they told you to follow. Infidelity does not just mean sex although it's part of it. Sometimes it is the boundaries you guys have established through your interaction. Mm. Kissing or holding a certain way, or even, you know, name some names, special names that are exclusive to us. But it's usually, you know both of you, what is, that, what is acceptable, what mm. is not acceptable. Mm. And sometimes it can just mean a chair. There's a case I saw whereby I was, the, the wife and guy was still like this, and when she, let, she found that another lady has come and sat there, and the kind of direction that she felt literally replaced and he did not bother to explain or even, you know, sorry, your seat, you know. Mm. And even other friends asked, what was that? Mm. Why did somebody take your seat? And I mean, the energy between them, mm. so flirtatious. Mm. So sometimes it's not, you have had the argument about whether it's mother-in-law or the wife who should sit at the front of the car if it's mm. a man driving. Mm. And I was telling that discussion is so a cake. Nowadays, women themselves have cars. Mm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Just assuming it was always the woman being picked. Yeah. Today, the guy is That's more true. of a chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> the car is the it. ladies. <laughs> so, some, some questions should not be answered. They represent a pathology themselves. Mm. The question itself, <laughs> you know, when you're in school, they judge you by your answers. In life, they judge you by your questions. Mm. <laughs> in school, they give you a question yes. <laughs> to see whether you can answer it. Mm. In life, what you ask tells us where you're standing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So and they say it, Kufunzo na Olimwengu. You know, in school, they gave you a, 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 a test, lesson than test. But here mm. is the test, then you learn the lesson mm -hmm. after. If you had not mastered it on your own private, the intentional singlehood. Mm -hmm. There are some basic rules of life. If you come here without them, you'll be... There's a difference between heartbreak and spirit break. Sometimes some breakups break your heart, others break your spirit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking your heart means disappointment that is yes. painful. Yes. Disappointment essentially. Somebody disappoints you, you had invested hopes in them, they have disorganized your life, you had planned, you thought you were done about choosing and now you're moving forward and you tell your friends. So you're calculating the social cost and the emotional cost. That's heartbreak, painful, disappointment, emotion. But when it is, when somebody breaks your spirit, they break your will to live, to try again, to date again. They, you lose the orientation of where you belong in this world and whether you're worthy or lovable. That is deeper than disappointment. It's a destruction of your identity. All right? Narcissists are very common with that because they aim at your identity from the onset. But I'm not going to that technical aspect mm -hmm. first. Is to say, sorry, I lost the question. What was the question? The question was infidelity in marriage. Mm -hmm. All right. Is, sorry. There, is there coming out yes. of it? Yes. So we are saying you lose a lot when you are faithful. All right. You lose a lot. 
when you are faithful. Even sometimes people are cheating to revenge and to equal even the scores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After they struggle with it, why am I struggling here feeling like... Uh, but if you revenge, you have to let me know so that it can take effect. Mm. <laughs> it's true. I have to say. <laughs> yes. Somewhere, or behave in a way that say, I got you. Mm. <laughs> you know? If you just revenge and Quiet. You, not, you not have the taste. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so the revenge mission ends up destroying whatever was left. Mm. Because it lets it destroys trust on both sides. Mm. So there are only two conditions for a, re, a marriage to survive an affair. Mm. One, remember we said relationships don't survive because the guilty are punished, but because the wounded are merciful. Mm -hmm. It's when you wanted this relationship so bad that you're willing to try and heal while still here. Mm -hmm. If it happens and you pick and go and shut the doors, it's like you had already calculated, should this ever happen? I'll never. Mm. Nobody wants to imagine being cheated on. But if should it happen and the way it finds you, because cheating is not the same, some people insert a twist of disrespect while cheating. They add a remix of bad mouthing you with whoever mm. <laughs> they were cheating you with. And the level of embarrassment that you have in to endure if you stay is unbearable. Yeah. If they met closing their eyes and did the thing, it's painful, but they may not have the accompaniment. <laughs> of calling you names, <laughs> giving you numbers or people to say this or saying you're not good enough or by the time uh, if it's a guy making a case to sleep with other woman, he has to justify why you're not enough because she most likely she will ask. Mm. But some girls on artists just want money. Yeah. <laughs> they don't ask questions. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> naturally if it's an evolving friendship that is going there, yeah. <laughs> somebody will justify why they are crossing, why they are violating what they promised you. Mm. <laughs> what what if your wife learns this? Da, 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 da. Somebody love to make up a case. So when you come to learn what they said about you, the things that you you wonder what is true then, what you told me or what you told them. Mm. So depending on what the whole package, quote unquote, level of damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm. Uh, cheating is like a crash. When cars crash, you can't define the damage until you assess it. Mm. Sometimes the insurance will write off, sometimes they will repair. Is to say there are two conditions. You, if you're willing to stay and try to heal while you're still here, you're only trying because after a year you may decide, I've tried, but it's not working. They will not tell you you're not forgiving or you've hardened your heart. Tell them, no, I've forgiven, but I'm unable to trust again. Mm -hmm. All right? The Bible commands you to forgive, not to trust. Trust should be earned. The only person who has to trust is God because he's perfect. He has no conflict of interest. People have conflict of interest. God does not have conflict of interest. <laughs> he just loves you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to determine the, the temperature of your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Him is consistent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are the one who is struggling mm -hmm. with offers of apple and other things by the devil over here. <laughs> you know, him is actually helping you. Mm -hmm. He went as far as paying for your sin or the penalty. But you see, I can pay for your fine to come out of prison. But you have already fallen in love with the prison. Mm -hmm. You have good buddies is there. <laughs> you don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I've paid the fine, but governor has come here and paid all the fine for all of you. Uh, fine. Me, I go back where? I don't have family to go there. This is better family. Let me just enjoy it here. You know I'm safer here. If I go there, I know I'll stay. It's so hard. There's free food here. So some people have gotten comfortable with the prison of sin. <laughs> they don't come out. Even after the fine has been paid, which was actually murder. Somebody came and got murdered. <laughs> Kill like a criminal for you. This to say, if you decide to stay and try, and you actually manage to heal. The second condition comes into play, the attitude of the offender. Are they trying to actually change whatever made them go that far? Are they trying to support you in your healing and answering your battles in your mind? Mm. Why should I stay on? Should I, will I ever trust again? What is the difference now? Are they being more transparent? Are they trying to journey with you in the market or do they want you to get over it quickly? Mm. Those are the only two conditions. Mm. If you're willing to stay and heal whilst you're here, yeah while still keeping the possibility open. When I say here, I don't just mean physically. Sometimes you may relocate physically for a moment mm. to go and nurse your wounds, but the possibility is still open. Mentally, emotionally, you're still trying. You don't know where you are. You should not ask people for decisions quickly after you've offended them. Mm. In law, we said you don't get to be both the offender and the judge. Sometimes when the person has been hurt, it's them who determines how much the injury has gone. Mm. And this to say, only two, those two conditions, if they are met, the person is apologetic and willing and patient and staying with you because the, the shortest recorded period of recovery is about a year, the mm. shortest. <laughs> Those who are working on themselves and mm. trying to reheal and therapy themselves and learning, they reach degree of normalcy. You never forget some things from yeah. memory, but they stop paralyzing you and running your mind and your systems mm. and offsetting you too often. 
for most people even and, and the same period for grief of divorce for grief of death imagine mm -hmm. <laughs> for grown ups is is a year for children is a shorter period children release things faster mm -hmm. they adjust to the world faster than, than, than perhaps because they don't have all those imaginations of what might happen yeah. <laughs> for us we have all those imaginations we mm -hmm. add what you might more mm -hmm. you might have done <laughs> you know so so if you're willing to stay and try and I'm willing to stay and help you and be there with you emotionally people have come out more vibrant. Mm. In fact, those people recover from a fall, although it is not recommended. Just learn through lessons. Don't learn through experience. You may mm. not recover. You may be broken too much. Mm. And some insecurities fester. So that whenever you see similar circumstances that resemble what had happened, mm. she was always talking on the phone with my older brother. Mm. Later, I realized they crossed, but there's a show I did about people cheating with your relatives and your subordinates. You should not forgive it. That's a, you know, there's a cheating and then there's a abomination things that attract mm. curses and karma and things and can actually destroy your family. Mm. By the time a person is interesting for your relative, <laughs> by the time. <laughs> Undressing for your relative. By the time someone is undressing for, for your, your relative. relative. Yeah. Yeah. By the time a person, a and actually the Bible. Oh, listen. by the time your relative is undressing for your mm. person. No, no, no. You see, relationship with your relative is not guaranteed. They mm. don't owe you nothing. Sometimes they envy how you think you are all that. They are doing From it to prove a point. Mm. Your younger sister, my friend, huh? and I'm not saying literally younger sister, I'm yeah. saying this younger set, sometimes they don't care. Mm. Or an older sister who you have bypassed. Mm. <laughs> you know, sometimes your relatives are, in fact, your worst enemies will always be among. Mm. Mm. <laughs> because they have a comparison point. They know, they knew the previous you. And how your success reminds them of their failure. And how they predicted you never amount to anything. So your success challenges their predictions. <laughs> and now they always say, you are not all that. Mm. <laughs> and now you are here, you came home with a Prado. Who came with a Prado? Mm. That home I said is cast. Mm. No, but, but Lona was here. Mm. Who? Mm. Sponsor. <laughs> so, what should I do? <laughs> so, it, sometimes it's your partner who you have a covenant with, not relatives. Yeah. Blood does not always bring any bond. Yep. Remember that? Yep, yep, it's yep. chemistry that brings bond. Mm. Biology, no, but chemistry, but if you want to remember biology and chemistry is that way, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can use that symbolism. Mm -hmm. But I was telling you, you can always recover. But if a person has gone to your driver or your servant or your house help, they have actually insulted you to that person. That's the, the I don't say unforgivable, but things you should not sit on mm -hmm. in this life. Mm -hmm. I would not sit with myself with knowing my younger brother knows the nakedness of my wife. Mm -hmm. I would rather not be that my wife in the same state. I can bring such depressive environment that I will die of depression-related conditions. Even if it's after 50 years, I will still go down. Mm. And the thing will bother me, feeling disrespected and despised, knowing my father knows the nakedness of my wife, mm. knowing there are some things that just... And, and you know these under 25s are the most vulnerable because they develop the body for sex without the mind for sex. Mm. The body becomes mature before the mind matures. So they can surrender the body to things that are abominable. Ask many of these abominations is even on, on these vloggers who bring stories that are chilling. Mm. Involve pre-25. Start doing your research. Mm. People did think they married a divorcee who had the grown kids almost our own size. And she me, he understands me, not this young man are not understanding. Mm. That's a 22-year-old blinking. They are telling us, me, I'm marrying a guy who's 56, and there's no problem. Love, 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 love. <laughs> so, and they are calling her, oh, this woman. There's no woman there. Mm. She has no brain. It is yet to develop. Mm. Wait until you wake up. And you realize you have done things that you can't stand before. Because if, if, if you get pregnant with that kind of person, mm -hmm. now you have to introduce who is who. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it was to tell you, I was trying to tell you that you can heal. If you yourself, you're willing to work on it. Sometimes people run away not to face the, the surgery of healing. Mm -hmm. Because healing means you open the wound again. And opening wounds is very painful. Many people try to avoid it. So instead of sitting here, they run. The pro problem is you keep on running. Because where you sit, the pain will catch up with you there. Mm -hmm. The memories will come there. Finally, remind people to normalize mental, mental health, investing money in counselors, investing money in life coaches. Mm -hmm. There are some things that if you see to them, you can handle them on your own. Like if you have malaria or, or stomach infection, you can suffer it through. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a medication. Yeah. That was actually <laughs> my question. Like, can you yes. overcome infidelity without paying money to see someone? Yes, you, you can do that the same way you'd have overcome stomach infection mm. without. 
<laughs> with more diarrhea <laughs> prolonged <laughs> pain <laughs> yeah yeah okay so okay um, uh, my recommendation is when there is such a degree deep degree of pain there's no point sitting with it until it sinks sinks and you don't know that you'll ever come up or you'll start now oscillating mm. some people never fully recover they start oscillating mm. between the living and the dead you know this is a story <laughs> one son of Solomon was of, of David called uh, Absalom was conducting a coup then he was hanging on some tree so he died hanging i always tell people if you live in rebellion against your own body you you betrayed your own emotions you neglected you think you are strong you are strong you will die hanging between heaven and earth today you are okay tomorrow you are off today you are okay tomorrow you are off and one sign that you will not excel in this life what ruben was told because he had committed sexual immorality the one of the women of his father was that because you are unstable as water you will not excel go for things that promote your stability and one of it is to hire a prop before you become stable when you build houses before they had them we prop them up mm. we actually rent things called trappers to mm. trap the cement mm. before it dries mm. hire props for your psychological well-being the same way you hire doctors and you don't you're not regarded as weak mm. just because mm-hmm. she would know better that even when you expect and even when the expectancy is perfectly okay mm. <laughs> strongly recommended mm. our mothers would do it without doctors but we also know other things would happen there mm. <laughs> sometimes they they miss something at a critical time mm. So they recommend once you realize you're expecting now invest in <laughs> you know and that's not mean you predict problems mm. <laughs> just want to be journeyed there when mm. some things happen contract outside help to be assisted to journey mm. yes okay on the infidelity part i like that you said that infidelity is not only about like sexual intimacy with someone else um i, would, I was thinking about financial infidelity if someone is let's say addicted to gambling or they are good they are good man in the house but then they just take your money and use it for other things and they keep saying the whatever and you have the attitude to make it work what happens in such a case i mean I, I... we said you shall not marry a person who is in a crisis an addict mm. so if at the point of entry mm, they have that issue then you know other people have a very spend. weird habit of being in debt and you don't know how they where they borrow the money yeah but they're just in debt so Yeah. This world does not run on love it runs on money. Mm. Anybody who has a, a severe problem with money don't get involved with them. And once you are involved and they develop the habit when you are inside they were already good they they, they change judge their attitude. Mm. If their attitude is cooperating and they're just struggling when people have a weakness you shall help with weakness but don't tolerate wickedness. Weakness is human struggle when they are genuinely trying. They could have a genetics that it's predisposed to gambling. Gambling goes mm. with risk taking mm. and people want the thrill of risk. Mm. And if you find that they are betting and they, they, they come out and you see how they're struggling and we help while you are being helped you see effort, mm. sincere effort. Mm. That person you can help for as long as endurable because if you stay too long you sink with them. Mm. Don't be too pitiful until people take you to an early grave. Mm. Especially if there's a child who needs to be protected in this world, mm. one of you should be alive. Mm. <laughs> and let it be you. Mm. Yeah. Any money misbehavior soon will get a person locked up. Mm. They'll spend somebody's money, they'll steal something or they'll, mm. they'll default on loans. Mm. They'll be auctioned. They'll be Any misbehavior with money will take you to negatives mm. sooner or later. The other thing to know is if a person has uh, an addiction to anything else, mm. it always boils down to money. Mm. Even if it's alcohol, money will be spent mm. whatever addiction it is to cocaine to anything eventually money mm. this world runs on money, money. so if they have an expensive addiction yeah. an expensive lifestyle some people are just subaru manias mm. and they will spend everything to get that subaru mm. <laughs> i'm just using it as an example mm. <laughs> other people are just motorists mm. <laughs> they get that thing that they want you mm. know or a big house beyond your budget mm. You just got a job and now they're pestering we get a loan for that big house we build our parents or this house or that when you find that they have this financial mismanagement and they don't give you the room to contribute you cannot then work together and if you don't agree because if you cannot agree if you insist on staying where there's no agreement you will share the crisis remember mm. it's easy for a person who is falling we need to put that on a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> if you what if you agree to you insist on staying, staying when you cannot no. agree you share, share the crisis, crisis. to be dragged on this is the wife come here your husband bro yeah. <laughs> they will take the bed from under you and sell it yeah. because once you are married you are saying we are one mm. 
Mm-hmm. The law may not arrest you directly unless they can prove you used to eat the money together. Yeah. But you will share in the turmoil. Don't force issues. Remember when I'm falling, I can drag you easier than you can take me up. Mm. Falling is easy. It is assisted by weaknesses and gravity and all that. If people insist on falling, panagazi na mshuka ngazi ya ushikadi mkono. Kama haya na shuka ngazi, ask yourself which direction you are going. And don't let marriage become captivity. Mm. Marriage is only, remember the vows. It is still death. Death of what? Not just physical death. Death of this commitment. Death of this agreement. Mm. Death of this spirit. Death of this trust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feel free to walk away rather than people taking you to debts that will take you eternity to get out of and your life is cancelled out. Remember, you only have a few years of productivity. Yeah. You, shall, you shall always stay true. Let your love be conditional every day. Let people know there are bare minimums you can't descend. Mm. You, you value your integrity. When you have no money, poverty strips you of your human dignity. Mm. People embarrass you. People are shame you publicly by saying, pay back our money or this. You show up somewhere, you can't pay, you can't feed yourself. You are evicted from the house. You can't pay the vehicle. You walk long distances. You go hungry. Can't pay medication. Is that what you want? At the price of saying, I wanted to keep the marriage? Mm. Don't keep the marriage alone. It takes two to keep. Mm. Yes. Mumeskia. Hey, I don't think we've ever. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what have we been doing? What have we been doing for six years on this channel? <laughs> Thank you so much, Benjamin. Benjamin, so my goodness. Welcome. Okay. Um, here's another question. I'm going to read it how they yep. wrote it, and I hope you will understand yep. the slang. Otherwise, I'm you here interpret- to interpret. Some of them will interpret for me. Yes. <laughs> Thoughts on girls shooting their shot? Do you think it's too much? What do you understand by shooting their shot? So, if you shoot your shot, what next? Let's say he even says, I like you back. Next. I'm sorry. I'm going to read that question again. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm feel like I'm triggered at the moment. Um, thoughts on girls shooting their shot. Do you think it's too much? So you like me? Shoot your shot now to me. Uh-huh. Uh, no. And I say, uh, okay. me too, I like you. Yeah. Mm. Next. Mm-hmm. It's on me again. Thank you. You yeah. took the initiative. Uh-huh. When you shoot your shot directly, you take the initiative. Okay. Mm. And you reverse nature. Women were created to be pursued. Mm. Men were created to pursue. Mm. Abi, ah, you are confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> when you um. take, when you take leadership, <laughs> when you take the initiative to initiate the thing, you have seized the leadership. Mm. So now you have to determine direction, pace, where we are going, what is it about, and yet your nature demands me to pursue you. So you know, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. In a sense, sort of, I, I sort mm. of agree. Mm. In those instances where I have done the chasing, at some point I feel I, I feel uncomfortable in, in the leadership role. However, mm. women were made to be pursued. But there's something I said in a recent thing that we shot. But we still have to be able to maintain our our ability to choose, even if we're being pursued. We still have to be able to choose to settle with that one. Why are you because mixing the two? Oh, so I'm mixing. Good, fine. No, I just need to be clear to be clarified. There is no. It doesn't mean connection. you're settling no. because you're. Yeah. There is no connection. In fact, you have better choice. At that time, when the man poses the question to you, his life is in your hands. That's true. Mm. That's very true. From there on, whether you say he knows your answer will determine his direction. Mm. You have more power if you learn how to use it. But what if, what if you don't shoot your shot because maybe I've noticed you, but you've not yet noticed me. Do you understand? Yes. So let's say as a woman you've noticed somebody, mm. but they've not noticed you. Mm. I mean, I won't go, I'm not, not going to die with these feelings, but is the, what about putting myself in a... Like, yes, I've done putting, a whole show. Putting yes. myself in your eye, eye view. Yes, mm. I've you done understand? a whole show about how to show interest without appearing desperate. Mm. Oh, to... Uh, how, how without to, uh, how to show interest, mm. without appearing desperate. Desperate, okay. And without putting yourself at the hands of potential exploiters. Mm. Some people will lead you on until you fall in love. Yep. The lead one. Yeah. Until you fall in love. <laughs> Let me just kick at someone and, and remember. Pro- and profess it. <laughs> and then shit. converse it. <laughs> and when you converse it, you are at their hands now. Yep. Yeah. Um, why are people so evil? Yes, they are. Think, don't ask why. Just know. Yeah. And believe So instead of saying why, just yeah. say, so people are so evil. Don't mm. say, why, why are people... <laughs> Okay. Mm. Wake up to human nature. There's a book by Robert <laughs> Greene. Wake up to human nature. <laughs> There's a book by Robert Greene called Laws of, Laws of Human Nature. And you should study the laws. Mm. So that you stop butting your head over them. Mm. I, I visited the Lord and because I'm new, I took a wrong turn. Mm. And I realized they always wait for visitors there to arrest <laughs> them. <laughs> and they know new people. 
mm-hmm. because the sign is very invisible. Yeah. It's crowded sort of way. And I could not see this is, this is, you should not go in this direction. And I, I thought about it, how many streets in life are like that? Mm. New people always get it wrong. You beat and I had to pay money because the official penalty is 55,000. But if you talk to her, you say 5,000. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. yeah, that's the pay bill. You can pay 55,000 and they mm. sit to wait. <laughs> <laughs> this life, there's some rules you need to know, and you can't argue with them. They just, they just sit there. Mm. There are some people who wished to get you, and they know they can't, they can't come directly. But by talking on the friendship basis, or the first time you're talking as colleagues or whatever, they get your vibe. Mm. You're, not, you're, not, you're not an easy girl. But there are the people who want to sample your supplies mm. without paying the price. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so they use the indirect route. Mm-hmm. Just being soft and kind and warm and friendly and keeping touch. And they will take as long so that the tension can wear you down. Mm-hmm. What, what, what do you mean? Why all these gifts, all this attention? You are so nice. What is on your mind? You know, guys, sometimes you can know. And, and I don't know what I just like. I, you know, it's good to make a lady like you just, uh, your life is here. Mm-hmm. And so tomorrow are you free? I want to pay a ticket for you. Oh, sure. Then you cooperate, you cooperate, you cooperate until they make you fall in love. And finally, they'll get what they wanted with no commitment on their side. Mm. If you shoot your shot and I walk out, <laughs> what will you ask me? Mm. After you shoot your shot, I, I take what I wanted and go away. Mm. You're the one who wanted me and never wanted you. Yeah, me. yeah. You don't want that insult on you. <laughs> <laughs> so how to show interest without speaking blatantly mm-hmm. is to always do that thing that puts you in his view. Mm. Don't go beyond that. A okay. searching man does not need you to go extra. I a agree. A guy who is searching never needs you to go extra. You only need to show up. Ooh, say that again. A guy who, who is searching, searching will never need you to, to go, go extra. extra. Never. That's it. So you can put yourself in his eye. Uh, in his eye. Uh, radar. We in his radar. radar. Uh, yes. But if he doesn't take the bait, he it's not, not for you. Ready. He's not he ready. He's not available. Okay. And you said what you shall do with your feelings is your business. Learn how to lay hold of those little mm, feelings. In the, zero, in the seven years of... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and in fact, one exercise is when you can't get rid of the person in the same space. And you have to get rid of them emotionally. Yeah. Some people do the right things for you without even intending. Mm. He's just the right told what you wanted. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he dresses the right way and brings a glass. As he gets water for himself, he gets one for you. Yeah. Are you okay? Is everything okay? You said you went home. Are people okay? You wonder, why am I? He hangs over your head the whole day. <laughs> you know? And he's busy with his life. Yeah. But the politeness, he represents what you wanted. Yeah. You don't know much about him, but feelings start playing with you. Now you remember the techniques of dodging. We have many techniques, mm. especially like men. There's one called guard rails. Guard rails are covenants and oaths. Things you swear never to do. So that should you come close there, the force of the covenant beats you back. When they when they find a bridge, like the Nidhi bridge, they put signs that there's a bridge ahead, slow down. Mm. But after science, don't stop there. They know you may be crazy. You may be speeding too much. They go there, put metal bars. Mm. <laughs> In case you are about to veer off, you hit that. Mm. So you need also metal bars, not just decisions and discipline. That period of intentional singlehood. Even if you are 34 now, you can't go back. Start now. Mm. Put the rules, parameters that guide you. Mm. For me, I know I can be tempted by a person with like this, like this. These are guard rays I'll put. I'll spit in my soup. There are many technologies you use. Okay. To, to tell them the truth that you should never date your colleague when you're a married person. You spoil for yourself. Mm. So that you destroy, you spit in your soup, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so I was just saying something before, as we were, when we cut away briefly that um, um, I... I I think I, I applauded women who shoot their shot, yeah. but in reality on the ground, I would be, I would don't think I have ever blatantly done it. Mm. I'll find a way to make myself, I, I used to say this, you know when you're out in the club and we'd be like, I just wanna, I want, I want him to, I want, to put, I want to put him in, I want to put myself in his eye level. I like to say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's a way as women, we, we shake our tail feathers. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can make your interest known, mm-hmm. but then, you know, it's, I don't know, is, if making your, is making your interest known shooting your shot? What is shooting your shot? Is it saying, can I take you out for dinner? I think that's, that's what would be a woman shooting their shot. You can still shoot your shot by making, by using those women wilds too. That is, that is the way you've shot your shot. Have you ever seen those memes on level how women shoot their shot? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing, but... Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, you can show your interest to men very easily. Remember, the only man you want is one who is searching. Yeah, okay. So, you see, true. at the end of the day, actually, that's, that's it. True. That's it. That's actually very true. Even if, if he want doesn't him catch it, yeah. and his energy is not into that now, mm. he can only use you because you look like a good guy and 
company with a good girl is mm. better than nothing. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the and remember, for a man to respect you, you must appear hard to get. And hard to get does not mean when he wants you, you run. Mm. Because many of you mistake it to run. Mm. When a guy greets you, you run. Keep running, running. And I told them, what sometimes, if what if <laughs> sometimes you run <laughs> thinking he's pursuing you, you're very valuable, and it's a tuk-tuk running after you. Mm. And I'll tell him, always check what is running. When a person shows interest, turn their direction and look. Mm. See whether they deserve any attention after mm. all. You may find that it's not even in your league. Some are just persistent and daring, mm. <laughs> you know. Mm. They just say, "What do I start to lose?" Mm. <laughs> Let me. Hey, you girl, I like you. <laughs> no, don't bother me. Come on, I like you, but I, I've been telling you I like you. This is the idea. Then you wear down because of persistence, not because he qualifies. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Benjamin, I mean, to follow up to that, because you, what you've explained is that the the man um, appreciates the chase. After this man has shot his shot at you, he is interested in a relationship. As a woman. Um, because now our energy is to attract, not to chase. Are we supposed to act a certain way to keep this man in a constant state of so pursuit? Oh, thank you for bringing that up. You don't set standards. You don't appear hard to hard to get by running. You appear hard to get by setting the bar high that you are not common, having requirements. Requirements are not the rules you shout at him. It's the rules you live by. Hey. <laughs> you know, sometimes you may, you may tell him, I don't a joker. If you're joking, don't come to me. That's foolish. You live like you don't joke. Hey. Ah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, people like Wait. putting rules over there, thinking they're sieving out jokers. Yeah. See, there's a required uh, don't joker. Now I'm telling my life. Look like it. Oh, leave it. it. And I'll give you an experiment. One day I want you to be, what, the day you notice the girls around you are more beautiful than you, some things you don't tell people, but mm. you are demeaning to yourself. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> be so far away enough <laughs> to notice that uh, I know I like myself, but <laughs> yeah. the day you notice that the girl around you are more physically endowed, mm. they have many features that are worshipable, whether they have, you know, not, now this can't tell it's natural or, yeah. yep, yep, yep. or patchwork. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, whether it is patchwork or natural, mm. admire it. Mm. Like, no, I like that hair. <laughs> oh my mm. God, I love that. Mm. <laughs> you know, take the pose of composure and happy with your own company. Mm. The men who leave her and come to you. Mm. Confidence is more attractive than looks. Mm. Yeah, always. You can win the show by appearing sort of disinterested mm. and happy, not desperate and worried. Mm. Just minding your business and you are attentive to the space, you are not aloof or depressed, <laughs> you're in the moment, mm. but you're happy in your company. People are happy in their own company. People appear contented in their space. That energy is so rare in this world. Mm. Everybody wants to participate of it. Mm-hmm. 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 There are many women who are beautiful but they are trying too hard. Mm-hmm. They appear very uncomfortable with their own company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and men know. Mm. Dating that woman will make you claustrophobic. She wants attention every time. Mm. <laughs> she wants to be validated every time. Mm. She wants to be talked to every time. She wants this and the other and the other. Mm. And that's one reason a girl who is who, who is not beautiful more than you in anything mm. can get more attention than you in the same space because she has depth of insight. She contributes ideas that are constructive. Mm. She she listens in a manner that is hypnotizing. Men have a boy inside that loves to listen to. And if you listen to him in the right way, pick just what he's trying to communicate. Give a word for his feeling. Mm. He gets addicted to you. Mm. <laughs> you know, men can fall in love before they see you physically. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> they can fall in love. say that you love? I think. What did he say that you love? Uh, how you make them, yes. the man fall in love. If you when, you, just, when you make him feel man. understood, yeah. if you can just capture what he's trying to pass to in a word, yeah. you arouse what the mother used to do. Mm. Because he would guess words and the mother says them right. Mm. And the mother understands them right. He would cry, <laughs> and the mother says, he is hungry, give me food. <laughs> he would tire, he's so tired, he'll eat this. <laughs> he would, you are sleepy, sleep here. So you arouse primal feelings that he also can't have words for. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me so giddy. <laughs> I'm like, eh? So instead of just slay, his head is, the mother, instead of slay, slay, carry that energy. Oh, instead of slaying, like, slay. 
There's a play, you know, just oh. showing all these features here and there and yeah. over dressing and yeah. doing this Physical. and that. Mm. Carry that energy that is understanding and nurturing. And we're not saying you sacrifice your own needs, no? Mm. But I don't want to carry the energy, I want to be the energy. So that's what I want to... You know, I, I, I mean the same you thing. You know, because somebody can, can say, they, somebody can get into uh, a performance. No, I'm saying, mm. y- y- yes, mm. we are saying stay with it until it is integrated. Into yeah. it. Skills are practiced until they're integrated. Mm. So I'm saying, if you learn to get outside yourself and pay attention to people in a calm way, you find that you have hypnotized them. This world is very fast-paced. People don't have time for you. If you find a person who is, oh, listen to you, paying attention, understand what you said last time and what you seem to feel this way. What do you think? That is so rare, we have not heard enough about it. And when they talk beauty, they only show the image of how you are created mm-hmm. and your shape. And yet many of us can't remember the shape of our mom, whether it's like, but how they took care of us and we felt so at home with her. Mm. And it was nothing to do with our physique. Why are we ignoring such a heavy principle? You are beautiful. Mm. Add the other aspect mm. of learning. This is a skill you learn. When I started practicing this work, I realized sometimes when the client is explaining, I don't have the answer. But by careful listening and we, we say, you get into their energy. Mm. You think together the situation. Mm. They feel fully understood. They feel so lifted. Practice that mm. to tune into. Mm. Some people listen, halfway distracted. You can tune into. Yes. Mm. Okay. Wow. Um, I think we've come to the end because uh, actually, guys, you guys sent a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, but I tried to pick the ones that were similar. Mm. There's somebody else who asked a question around um, do you believe in old fashioned marriage or gender roles in this day and time? But I Maybe you can. I also. All right. I feel like you've, you've you've kind of answered that in the others. But, but in a brief way to say, yeah, there's no old fashion and modern fashion. Me, I'm marrying today, so don't take me to 1600. Mm. Today's world and civilization and needs. It's me and you to deal with them. Mm. We can't say let's do like our grandma and grandpa. They were dealing with a different reality. Mm. Right. Right. We had better com- we have better communication. Let's deal with what we have now. Mm. They did not have Facebook. They would send letters and wait for a week, mm. and it was okay. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know? So don't talk about old fashioned. Mm. Let's talk about being true and loyal. When people say old school, they usually mean those values mm. of loyalty. Mm. Right. Being true right. and patience. And out of sight, yet it's not out of mind. Mm. I'm a country, you are here, we are having to hustle differently. Mm. Today I tell men to always live in the same roof with a woman so that you can grow together, continue being one. Men get married twice. Mm. Get married legally and socially on a ceremony. Always marry in a ceremony. Don't sneak into his life. Don't slide, don't stagger him, don't corner him, don't mm. pregnant him, don't ceremony. Mm. <laughs> ceremony always have friends and family. Mm. That's how you know it was a ceremony. And everybody knew you're getting married. Mm. It can be customary, it can be attorney general, it can be in church. Mm. It's not about show, it's not about mm. how many people, it's not about the world government. Those things fade out of picture. Your mother, when they tell you that we married for 30 years, can't remember who attended which, what, how many people, those are nonsense. Mm. It's the, the essence of what we went there to do. We married on 16th August <laughs> in 2022. And we, we, it was this location on such a date. That gives you right and reference point for when your status changed and when you became entitled to what in my life and what you can refer back to as you question my behavior. Mm-hmm. If that is not there, what basis do you have to question my behavior? I'm still observing you. Uh, you are still under observation, my friend. Why are you asking for so much loyalty? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm yet to make up my mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Is to say, when a man has made up, has attended a ceremony, that's the first marriage, the man then must get married psychologically, Mm. energy-wise, mentally. He must close out the shooting of shots, because men are always shooting shots, and during that period of singlehood, you are flirtatious Mm. with almost every new lady. Mm. You are flirtatious and checking. Mm. And some I had checked, and I had opened that door. And although I've gotten married, I've not yet closed it. Next time when we, she gets, we get in touch, the same energy of flirtation is going on. Mm. People don't always cheat because they're bad. It's the tabs they had opened during searching that they have not yet closed. Mm. <laughs> that, those ladies I had pursued and shown interest and I, I planted something in their head. Mm. And as they go on, it grows. Women have that tendency of nurturing seeds when the planter is no longer around. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow! And <laughs> <laughs> Santa is no longer around. <laughs> so, yeah. he, 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 he showed you that and treated that way and expressed you were single. You wish to, that time you were not single. Mm. Oh, you are not energy wise available. Not everybody is single is ready. Mm. And then when the season comes and you're perusing, you're saying, hmm, Benjamin. Mm. <laughs> and it's been a few months where, yeah, I've moved on. Maybe I'm married and we lost touch. Mm. When you get back, hi dear, that's the language you used to use that time. So she sees my wife, somebody calling me dear, mm. or she does not see and I encourage it on. Mm. That can go anywhere now. Men must get married mentally and close all those tabs. Mm. And everybody who comes back to my life and they belong to that season, I introduce family quickly. I introduce boundaries quickly without being watched. Mm. You know a man is faithful when he's not hiding the phone. The reason they hide the phone is because of, there are many tabs that happen and they don't know when any of those tabs may start playing music. <laughs> when you're on suspicious websites, you don't know what, what yeah. adverts they run. <laughs> so, so sometimes it's not something particular I'm running. I just know the way I'm living. Mm. I've not closed the tabs. Mm. I've not closed the loopholes. Mm. And if you stay with the phone, anything can pop. Mm. So discomfort to the phone shows secrecy. Why do people make it mysterious? Mm. If we are married and your phone left it here, you should be able to relax. Mm -hmm. But if you are tense, because there's something like that is not rocket science. Mm. <laughs> that is common sense. But they always say, if you're looking for something, you'll always find it. I'm not looking. Mm. But if it appears, it will be visible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So you said men have to get married mentally. Yes. Mm. What about women? Women, the same. Women, for, mother, for most of them, is the exes. The, for women, the most problem is something that was once existing with something. Mm. Most women, mature, balanced women, when they arrive at their home, they concentrate on building it. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she's, she will shut some chapters, and because she's not the one shooting shots, mm. her work is just block. I'm not saying it is easier. I'm just saying I her realize work is to block, I because know, yes, that's because the woman migrates socially yeah. to her new home, mm. not mommy's home, mm. not shared space. Many of them, who, those who are prepared, men should always marry a woman who's looking to be a wife, not a girl in college, not some girl who's enjoying the enjoyment and support and financial and emotional. Da, 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 and we might get married some day in the future. Da, 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 da. Mm. Those girls will run you mad, especially good hearted men. If you look at this loyalty test, it's good hearted men going for girls and promoting them too much. Don't date a person who dating you is a promotion. Mm -hmm. Don't promote, don't yes. transport them from some busier <laughs> from some and bring them here and give them status. Mm -hmm. Because if you bring them to a status they did not earn, they also can't understand the temptation on this level. Yeah. They'll see other men of your level mm -hmm. with the cars like you, mm -hmm. with the lures like you. And because she has never handled, grown herself organically to this level. Mm. She has not developed the muscles to resist temptations of this level. Mm. Some people cheat because you overwhelmed them with exposure. Mm. <laughs> 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 they, are, they are carried away. <laughs> you know, you are showing them so much temptation that they have never seen. Mm. And I always tell men, once you get married, for women who are saying, because she has migrated socially, she should also migrate mentally. And if she was looking to settle, she had done her mathematics. Mm. Now that I'm married, thank you very much. Mm. Let me build what I have. Mm. So for women, I'm not saying it's easy, it's a mental switch. And because she's not the one naturally shooting shots. Mm. Men and men, so many applications for jobs. And even after you got the job, replies are coming back inviting for interviews. Mm. <laughs> and you should close and make a universal reply for anybody coming back with the energy we had started that time. And that time it was right, it, it, it was a season. Seasons have shifted. If a brother doesn't sit down and close the chapter, disaster will strike. Mm. An innocent lady who will develop a genuine liking for you will come back. Mm. People don't always cheat because they are inherently and true liars. It's things they started at the right season, but when seasons shift, they do not go back to close the loophole. They meet when the connection is genuine, when the attraction is sincere, when you have imagined if you want to date a person, you imagine them being your spouse, or you see how it feels. So they have imagined you and you imagined them, and when you meet, because the minds have traveled there, the body is now just going to do what the minds have already done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke with flirting. Mm -hmm. Because we are only talking, even you and her started with talking, mm -hmm. and that's how we are here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when the mind has imagined, the body can easily go there. So it's to say, marrying the second time or getting married the second time is now cutting off all the pending strings mm. and saying energy wise I accustom myself to this woman something somebody had hinted saying how do I choose the same person every day there's no other choice mm. you know sometimes these, these dilemmas are self-created mm. these dilemmas are self-created mm. 
once you wake up to reality, you realize there's only one person who can choose you with sincerity. Mm. People like you are not many, but okay, I'm not trying to discourage your <laughs> self-esteem. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true though. <laughs> yeah. People who have true. the capacity to be loyal and they're willing to risk it all with you, they're very few. Mm. They're very few. Mm. In the whole world, they'll not be more than a handful. Mm. And the one you meet at that season when you are also prepared and ready, that is the only person you're going to meet. The other virtuous people come from the same human family. Mm. They can't betray, they can't lie, it will convict them, it will condemn them, their conscience is solid, they can't do to others what they don't want to be done to them. So the moment you cheat on that person, you know, and I taught brothers, and we proved it many times, if you cheat on a good woman, you usually don't get another one. Mm. You get the other type. <laughs> Many even are foolish enough to promote the one they cheated with. Now, as if you stole with, you're installing them <laughs> as the CEO. <laughs> and you're hoping now they will not steal. <laughs> You know, and men, men have been swindled, and, and I'm wondering why are you crying? Yeah. You, you went to a stealing club and enrolled as if. <laughs> you know, you were expecting oh faithfulness <laughs> from a thief. From a thief. <laughs> they entered your life I'm by dying. means of unfaithfulness. I'm and now you are hoping, <laughs> you know, do you know thief, thieves don't trust you? That's why gang, they kill each other every day. Mm. Sometimes actually they eliminate, guns eliminate themselves. Mm. The police were defeated to catch mm. them. <laughs> but them, because they can't trust each other, yeah. they know they're always stealing. Mm. <laughs> There's no character of faithfulness among them. <laughs> they use the gun, they use the force mm. <laughs> to enforce the interest. Is to say, as a man, never never cheated. If you ever happen to cheat, don't marry the one you cheated. In fact, even during dating, next time you should discuss this, mm. don't marry when you're pregnant, don't marry when you, are, when you have a few months old baby. That fog of pregnancy and mothering, new motherhood, mm. makes it impossible to make sober decision mm. about marriage. And if you're making lifelong decisions, you know, should not be inspired by covering up a crisis of a short term. Mm. Child at most, a child will be with you at most 20 years maybe. Marriage is lifelong. Mm. <laughs> so when you realize you've gotten pregnant, even if you had planned on getting married, a dynamic has shifted. Mm. The cheating, the stealing you used to do <laughs> for the marriage has shifted how you perceive me and how I perceive you. And if I came to you talking, oh God, Christian prayer, what else will I ever talk for you to believe me now? Mm. This, this is another journey that should be restarted of what, where did we go wrong and what are you going to correct? Now? A proven period of changed behavior. If you marry when you are stealing, you will never trust each other. Thank you very much. Hey, wow. Jesus Christ. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. I don't even know what, what to say. Wow. I we mean. We have to have Benjamin back. We have, we to, have to have to come back. back. That was such a powerful. I, I, do you preach? I'm sure you. No, 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 no. I'm just a speaker. Like You're I'm just a speaker, speaking. motivational speaker. Yes. Wow. Okay. Life coach. Guys. Extraordinary. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. I'm you gonna have... call you after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've seen him here, Benjamin Zulu, finally on Over 25. I think we are all lost for words. <laughs> this is the first time you've seen us quiet yeah. on set. We have been silenced by wisdom. Yes. And I really, really appreciate even you picking up the call to say <laughs> that over, you want to come on Over 25. Most or not. Thank you so, Thank so you. much. You have, I think you have, I don't know, the, you've, you've made me question some core things that I thought were core principal beliefs in my life. Mm. I, um, I don't know what the girls have to affirmed. say. He's affirmed a lot of mistakes. He's also affirmed <laughs> some mistakes that yeah, you made. And yeah, now just how to, to chat a fresh mm. path forward. Right. Mm. That's what I really loved here. Yeah. And I really appreciate that you've advocated, because there's women out here who are so, um, they, 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 they are so ashamed to be single. That's right. And they don't know how to thrive in that space. And mm. they don't know that that space can actually be an opportunity for That's personal true. development. That's true. So you've had it from him five years. If you've been single for more than a year or two years, stop stressing. Try and figure out how you can use that time to develop yourself as an individual. You know, um, I'm just really happy. Guys, please leave your, leave your comments or your feedback in the comment section of this video. Can I say something? Yes. You have a group of under 25s and, I'm and over 25s. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a book already complete for pre-25s oh. called Dreams Before Dating. Is that your book? Yes. Dreams Before Dating. And we'll display them for them how they can order. They, the, some of the conversations I started here, we could not go all the way, but I've written articles and answers to their questions. Okay. They should get them. Where is this book available? Uh, we'll show them uh, together with WhatsApp numbers. Okay. It's already available. They can always order. Yes. All right. So I think by the time we're publishing this video, guys, we're going to leave all the details in the description box of this video. Please make sure to order a copy or you can gift somebody. Share this episode. Share with a friend. Share with a sister. Mm -hmm. 
share with your daughter. Like my mom is always sending you Benta and Zulu videos. <laughs> well. Share widely. Give us a thumbs up if you care and if you've loved this video. And as per usual, guys, subscribe. We'll see you guys here next time. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Much welcome. Adios. Bye. Bye. Over 75, subscribe!